my lab has for a long time tried to understand um, why is it that mom's copy of UBE 3A is the only one that's expressed, that's made. Um, dad's copy gets turned off in, in brain cells. And so we've tried to understand why and how that happens for a very long time. And um, as we've been studying that process, we, we came to understand um, how some of the other uh, therapeutics work, like the antisense oligonucleotide therapies that are coming out. Um, we, we understand how those happen. And so we know that um, they seem to work, they seem like they will work great. Um, it's a good idea, but um, they're going to require repeated injections into the spinal cord. And we kind of thought that that might be a bad idea. Um, that families wouldn't want to bring their child in for a, a spinal tap um, over and over again. So we tried to think of a way that we could do the same thing with a one and done delivery system. Was there a way that we could take gene therapy, which is semi-permanent, and uh, you know, deliver that, that um, the same capability as an ASO. So ASOs, what they do is, is they allow dad's copy of UBE3A to be turned on. If we can, if we can do that with a one and done delivery, um, that would be great. And so we started to explore um, uh, RNA cutters, so cutting molecules that could be delivered by gene therapy, and we came up with an SHRNA. SHRNA stands for short hairpin RNA, and all that means is it makes a hairpin, it makes a loop. And <clears throat> for years, people have understood that these, these small RNAs, what they're able to do is this, they, um, they can match up with other RNAs that are, that, for instance, the RNAs that encode proteins in your body. They match up with them and they cut that RNA. And so, um, again, we understood that if you cut the RNA that is called, it's called UBE3A antisense, um, and as the name might imply, it runs opposite, anti to the sense of UBE3A. Um, it cuts that antisense RNA um, and allows and, and, and prevents it from silencing dad's copy of UBE3A. Um, and so where this is different than, than other forms is it, it's an RNA cutter just like ASOs, um, but it can be uh, packaged into a gene therapy vector where it can be made over and over again. And so um, introducing a gene therapy virus where that virus, it's, it's empty of all the normal pieces of a virus, but what it can be used for is like a Trojan horse to deliver DNA to a cell. Um, it, it delivers the package to the cell and that package in the cell makes the shRNA over and over again. So it's like a constant drug delivery system that delivers this RNA cutter that then turns on dad's copy of UBE3A. And so why we think it's so why we think it's a, a, a great opportunity to explore is, is we think that um, it should turn on dad's copy and um, you should be able to deliver this therapy once and have it work for a very long time.